Valley with the Bob Lutz Fulcher Simonton Branch Library. And today's after school break is all about coffee filter flowers. This is a fun homemade gift you can make for Mother's Day, which is coming up on May 9th, just in case you didn't know. Um, but it's also a fun experiment that we're going to do that will teach us a little bit about chromatography. So chromatography is a way to separate out chemical mixtures to see what they're made of. Scientists use it when they're making vaccines or testing foods and drinks to see if they're safe to use or eat. And today we're going to use chromatography to separate out the colors in marker to see if we can figure out which inks they mix together to get those colors. Let's get started. The materials we'll need for today's project are plain coffee filters, washable markers, and some pipe cleaners for the stems. If you don't have pipe cleaners, you can also use bendy straws and just tape your flower to the top of it. So to get started, we're going to pick some colors to use for our experiment. I'm going to choose these four. I have black, green, brown, and red. Um, and let's start, when you do an experiment, you should make some sort of hypothesis or prediction as to what you think will happen. So let's think about black. What colors do you think they've mixed together to make this black marker? Write it down. And do the same for brown, green, and red. What colors do you think we're going to see on our coffee filter once our experiment is done? When you have that ready, we can start our experiment by drawing a circle on our coffee filter. So I'll start with black. And make sure you have a paper that you put down underneath a newspaper or regular paper or a magazine, just because the coffee filter is so thin, you don't wanna get marker on your table. So right in the middle of the coffee filter, you can see there's already sort of a natural circle. And that's just what I'm going to draw along with my marker. It doesn't have to be neat at all because the water is going to sort of move through it and make it into a very cool pattern. And then I'm going to flip it over and do it on the back just to make sure we have a lot of ink for our experiment. Once you have your circles drawn on all your coffee filters, we're going to fold them in half, just like this. Fold them in half again, and fold them in half again. So it should look like a little triangle, just like this. My experiment is done, my coffee filters have dried, um, and now we can look at our findings and see what happened. So this one is my brown, um, and my prediction was that the brown would maybe separate into blacks or blues, but um, you can see we have sort of orange, and then right along the edge, it looks like some purple up at the top. Um, so that was pretty surprising. We also had red, which, didn't really separate at all, which makes sense because red is a primary color. Um, but then green, which I thought would separate into blue and yellow, but mostly stayed green. Um, if you see at the very top up here, it sort of has a little bit of blue and yellow, which makes me wonder if we would have left it longer if we would have seen blue and yellow as it soaked more. So if you try it at home, you can leave yours in for longer than 20 minutes and see what happens. Um, and then the most surprising was black, which turned so pretty um, into greens and pinks. And there's still a little bit of black here where it didn't really separate out. Um, but this was really interesting to me. So what about you? Were your predictions correct? Did you guess right? Were you surprised? Um, and you can try it at home with any color you want and see what happens. So now that our experiment is over, we can go ahead and make our actual flowers. So um, what we'll do is take our coffee filter and fold it back 
So in half, in half, and in half, back to that little um, triangle shape. So once we have our triangle, we're going to just cut along the top and a little bit down the sides too, because when we unfold it, that will sort of give us our petal shape. Okay, so we'll just do that. You can cut it in different um, styles. You can do zigzags. You can make a really, really big petal by going really deep down the side. So if I wanted to make it more narrow, let me show you. So now you can really see my petals like this. Um, so it's totally up to you. Take lots of creativity with this step. And then... All we have to do to make a flower like this is pinch it in the middle and sort of gather up the bottom. And I like to sort of press it out so you can see the petals and they're not all clustered together. And then take your pipe cleaner or your straw and your tape and attach it right to that part you have pinched at the bottom. For the pipe cleaner, I'm just gonna sort of twist it around. So I don't even really need tape with the pipe cleaner. Twist it around to keep it on. Ta-da! We have a flower that you can give to someone. Thank you for watching our after school break. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned a little bit something about chromatography or are inspired to try your own experiment at home. This is our last after school break for the spring, but stay tuned for special May programs. You can find them on our online calendar or for our summer programs. Bye.